Hi, I'm Mr. Omingyo. Okay, I'm going to talk about the principle of conservation of energy. Altogether, there are three points. And the first point states that uh, energy cannot be created or destroyed. And the second point says that it can only transfer from one body to another or convert from one form to another. And the last point states that the total amount of energy must remain constant at all point, at all point of time. Okay, so um, we can see this uh, principle of conservation of energy with this uh, simple example here. Okay, let's say I have a mass of 2 kg that is being dropped from a height of 10 meter. Okay, at the beginning, the mass will have gravitational potential energy because of its height. Okay, so let's calculate gravitational potential energy is equal to mgh and this will give us uh, 2 kg times gravitational field strength is 10 and the height is 10. So this will give us 200 joules of gravitational potential energy. And since it's being dropped at the at the beginning, right, the velocity is zero. So the kinetic energy is also zero. So with this, the total amount is 200 joules. Okay. So let's say it's being dropped all the way to the bottom. Um, there's no more height at the bottom. So what we can say is that uh, the gravitational potential energy is equal to zero joules. And since all the gravitational potential energy has been converted to kinetic energy, we say that the kinetic energy is 200 joules. And with this, the total amount of energy stays at 200 joules. Okay. With this, we, we find that uh, the principle of conservation of energy is uh, verified because the energy is being transferred from gravitational potential energy to kinetic energy with the total amount of energy remaining constant at 200 joules.